Have you seen Penny? Oh, uh, Penny? Penny who? <laughs> Who's that? I don't know that. Redhead. Very curious. Overly trusting. You know, Penny. Uh, okay. Promise you won't get mad. No. I can't wait to see how that conversation goes. But all jokes aside, uh, before we get into the intro, before we get into the content, I wanted to take this time, kind of touch base with you guys since it's been a bit of time overall. But if you are watching this video, I'm actually really thankful for that. Whether you're a returning face, whether you're someone that recently just discovered me, whether you've been in the Rooster Teeth or Ruby community since the dawn of time or more recently, we all kind of went through a shared experience in the last two years. Uh, we all struggled in different ways trying to get to the next day the next week the next month with social distancing quarantines being away from friends and family going through our growing going through losses in different ways the fact that something like ruby is bringing us together <clears throat> excuse me the fact that something like ruby is bringing us together after two years you know that in of itself being on hiatus you know it's been rough it's been tough but i i feel like it's it's a it's a blessing to just be back where we were two years ago and the fact that we made it to this point proves that we're stronger now than we were then and it's a blessing as well because i'm sure there are some people that are unfortunately not in the same boat but i wanted to do a little bit of a call to action because i never really do these in videos i feel like they're kind of overdone on youtube at the very least but in this particular sense we're back for ruby volume 9 the return of hype the return of excitement the return of the shared community experience of getting into something we all love and are passionate about in the comment section let me know what you've been up to for the last two years whether you went through your own personal growth you know did you go to high school did you start college did you get a job i know there are some people that you know in my circle group that you know started building pcs they started youtube channels they started twitch streams and even myself i started a second youtube channel where i focused on genshin impact around the time that volume 8 started but in the last two years ruby has been gone but i've been continuing my genshin impact journey it's kind of like my new girlfriend meeting my old ex and they have to kind of get along with each other because I'm in it with both of them so <laughs> I don't know that's a little weird analogy but yeah I just love to know what you guys have been up to because you know I'm sure I'm going to see a lot of familiar names in the comments and see people in the live stream discussions and mutuals on Twitter interacting at mass and uh, it's just going to be fun to return to happier simpler times granted volume eight left us in the worst state possible going into this next volume so so yeah, like I said, just leave me your thoughts in the comments of like what you guys have been up to. If you care to share, I'm really genuinely interested because I feel like we all kind of leveled up in different ways since then. But with all of that said, Ruby Volume 9 is here and I'm very, very excited. Hey guys, what's up? Murder of Birds here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the return of weekly mainline Ruby content with Ruby Volume 9 finally premiering exclusively on Crunchyroll with the episode one chapter. I don't know the name of it because I'm still waiting for the episode to come out. So I'm doing my intro a couple of minutes before it goes out. But yeah, we are finally back. I just did a rewatch with people in my Discord server about uh, rewatching volume eight, just kind of refreshing my memory. It was literally two years since I watched volume eight. So it was a really nice refresher course. We got a couple of trailers since RTX last year and even a couple of weeks ago talking about like the vibe that we're going to be getting into going into volume nine with it being heavily inspired by Alice in Wonderland. And I'm just really excited to see Team Ruby again to just see all the work that went into this volume because i know things are very different at the rooster teeth animation and like people that worked on this show some of them are no longer at the company and i just want to wholeheartedly embrace all of the work that these people did during covid working from home and just working under the strict conditions that they had to on and off to make this work and to get this out there to the fans finally so um overall i just want to say a big shout out to kruby to present kruby past kruby future kruby who continues to work on the show going into like volume not uh, volume 10 and things of that nature but uh it's really great to just be back and pick up where we left off obviously there's probably going to be some snippets that we saw from the first couple of minutes that we got from rtx but overall i'm just really happy to be back i'm getting back into ruby content i'm getting back into anime content there's going to be reactions to shows like attack on titan erased b stars red versus blue season 13 ruby ice queendom and a bunch of other things that i'm kind of diversifying now that i'm kind of getting back in the step of content on the channel so for those of you who who have just kind of been dormant or for those of you who are returning fans or those of you who've been checking me out on streaming with twitch and genshin welcome back i'm really glad to see that you guys are still around that you guys are still kicking that you guys are still excited for the hype and the content and everything else in between these videos are going to be going out weekly on youtube a week after the episode releases they will be available on patreon for early access as soon as i can get them up there so i just hope that the whole rigmarole of content kind of gets back into the swing of things i'm really excited to see other people in the community's reactions analysis discussions reviews and it's the longest we've ever been
been without Ruby. So it's it's kind of like I'm uh, we have to all reacclimate to how we used to experience this show because it's literally been two years. So overall, I'm just really, really thrilled. I'm really excited to see what this episode provides. I'm so hyped for the intro because Casey and her band and her team is kind of producing the music now with Jeff Williams officially retiring. So I'm just excited to just get into everything, just completely digest all things Ruby for the next 10 weeks. And even with the DC Justice League movie that's coming out immediately after. So I feel like there's a, there's a lot of things to keep us busy, to keep this tied down. And I'm just excited to be back and sharing my experience with you all. So with all of that said, long-winded intros, you guys have to get used to the content. I'm back, baby. With all that said, Ruby Volume 9, Chapter 1. Let us begin. I am so nervous right now. I get like this every volume, man. It's crazy. Ruby Volume 9, Chapter 1 just premiered on Crunchyroll. It's 17 minutes. They don't have the episode title, so I think it's still like loading in, but I have no idea what this is going to entail. I have no clue what we're, what we're in for. I'm so excited. Thank you guys all so much for continuing to be a part of my Ruby experience. I hope you enjoy the hype. I hope you guys find joy and entertainment in these on a week-to-week -week basis as well. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ruby Volume Volume 9, Chapter 1, starting in 3, 2, 1, now. Oh my god! I'm so excited. Two years! We waited! <laughs> we did it! This we is the story of a girl who had a lot of problems. Whoa! Huh. Hello, Ruby Rose. That's you they're talking about. I wonder if that's Alex, which I assume is the reference for Alice. The girl who fell through the world. Okay, this is this was shown at RTX, the startup from Ruby's perspective. Holy shit. I just watched volume eight yesterday. Fuck. I love this first person perspective though from Ruby. And like you can like hear her heartbeat and how like stressed she is. Hello, Neo. I can't. We're gonna get Neo freaking development too. Shit. We have not seen Jean in the trailer, any of the trailers, outside of the night, surrounded by fire. So maybe the Queen of Hearts changed his identity, like what they were saying about Ruby in the last trailer. But so much speculation, so much theory crafting. This is completely different. I wonder if dust works in this world because <laughs> I forgot that happened. <laughs> Oh my god. Like, bro, you're falling to your death, Neo, or what you assume could be your death. And she's like, if I'm going down, I'm taking you with me, Ruby Rose. Damn. I wonder if she's real, how she's going to come to terms with Roman's death and how it actually happened. Because at this point, she got betrayed by Cinder. So she's kind, she kind of has to basically, like, fend for herself now. But I don't know if she's going to be a quote unquote good guy. We'll have to wait and see. Oh. Ruby. So everyone's. Yeah. So I think I don't know if one of those was Penny or if they were if it was Yang and Weiss that was calling out to her. Yeah, there were three people that called out to her. I mean, it could be Weiss, Blake, and Yang. So. Oh man, dude, I feel I'm I'm so like I'm like bro. What am I watching right now? Is this Ruby? Are we actually here? Did the freaking two years just fly by like nothing? Wow, I can't believe, dude. So, obviously, I'm really excited for all the new stuff. We did see all of these snippets during the last couple of RTXs. Like, this was the sneak peek of, uh, like, before they announced that Ruby would be going on hiatus. And then I think it's going to cut immediately into what they showed at last year's RTX. Yep. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, we're going to see little. I actually haven't seen this trailer since RTX. So I <laughs> deliberately did that because I knew we'd see it again. Yeah, and there's like no Grim here. There's like all these mythological like fairy tale creatures. Twisting tree lines. It's like a lost forest soda, so to speak. Gosh, shout out to the Kruby, man. Y'all must have had a blast doing this. It was probably a lot of work. Probably stressful too, but we really appreciate it. <laughs> you idiot! <laughs> you have no idea where you are. Ah, there he is. Oh my god. Sheesh. Ruby's big madge. <laughs> 
Oh my god, we're finally back, dude. I'm at, it's actually like sinking into me right now. Like we're actually going to be there's more to this than just the snippets that we got, and we're going to get them. I'm so excited. God, I'm so intrigued by this place. Aspen has to know. Yep. Her emotions. Literally Alice in Wonderland vibes, man. I'm telling you. This place is in tune to their emotions. Hello. <laughs> I, I wonder how, how Little's going to get along with the Cheshire Cat, which is Robbie Damon, who's uh, a catchy from Persona, who's one of my favorite characters. Obviously, he plays a bunch of other roles, too, but... I know him more prominently from that. <laughs> Dude. Now, if only you could help me. <laughs> About that. <laughs> I could try. Oh, man. I, I'm like transported back to RTX in the crowd where everyone's like, what? A talking mouse? Why are you yelling? <laughs> oh, yeah. There's no caption. Yo, Crunchyroll, y'all got to get on that. Uh, did you want to share? Oh. I need subtitles. I guess it's only fair. So I gotta no, that, actually listen. That's all right. Uh, hmm. I guess uh, I've just never really spoken to a, a mouse before. Hey, that's discriminatory <laughs> against mouse faunus. Well, I guess I've never spoken to a <laughs> you before. Humans. You? Oh, uh, I'm a human. human. What's that? A girl, <laughs> a huntress. There has to have been other That's people coming things. here, but I'm Ruby. I'm Ruby Rose. Hmm. And to Ruby Rose is your purpose? No. Hmm. No, that's I'm also that's curious if other living creatures here also you know were stripped of their former I identities. Because so Little doesn't even understand the concept of what it means to have an identity you? or to have a name. Well, for now. So it's like, Jesus, what happened yeah. here? Hmm. How does one little? <laughs> You're doing it right now. Gosh, I can't wait for the fan art. What's I can't wrong? wait. I'm All the new characters. Have you seen other people? Humans. Hmm. Like me. Exactly like you? No. They walk and exactly talk like, like me. me. I mean, we're similar, but different. Hmm. I'm sure it'll make sense eventually. <laughs> um, one would have long blonde hair. Yang. The other has, well, uh, <laughs> uh cat ears. Yeah, so I don't think she's going to get along with Robbie. Sorry, I, I should have known. I've seen plenty of cartoons. <laughs> I've seen Tom and Jerry. I know how this plays well, out. I've never seen anyone who does or doesn't look like you. But hmm. maybe someone in my village has. The mouse They're village. They're out foraging. You know, since we need food and stuff. Uh, they understand basic survival. Speaking of which, <clears throat> a few more of these wouldn't hurt. All right, this is all brand new. This is all brand new. Two sons, you by really the way. You think it's around here somewhere? Yeah. I wouldn't expect oh. to say I'm certain about anything at the moment. Meanwhile, Gamble yes. fell after you and Ruby, but before I did. Oh, the weapons. And we found each other. So that means they all have to be here. What is this place? Weiss fell last know. and she found Blake first. None of my guesses really make sense. Holy shit. <laughs> Blake. <laughs> it's all new. I'm really glad you're okay. Yeah. She was the last one. I'm she really thought glad you are too. She thought y'all were dead. And if we are, then that means Yang and Ruby. Yang and Ruby, be. yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh, <sighs> Man. Can you what happened after we fell? Oh Jean Penny Cinder Winter! We should focus on finding everyone else first. Yeah, I don't want to have to tell the story more I than once. It's already something. painful. Yeah, don't they get held up by the mouse village or something? Oh, there there's a weapon. I guess it could have been worse. True. Well, good news. I'm low on dust. That wasn't. Does an dust work was. here? Sorry. Cause, cause technically, like in Volume Two, they said that dust doesn't work after it leaves Remnant atmosphere. But because they're not on Remnant, does dust work at all? Oh my God! Oh. Hey, I like the, I like the OST. This is like the first major OST we're hearing. Ooh, I love it! <laughs> you can do it, Blake. 
She's cheerleading her on. Huh? Oh my god. Holy shit, the squad! The trap has been sprung! Oh my god, y'all fell Justice for it. Was I pray! Was I talking? <laughs> Not what I'm worried about right now. Once wait till they find out you're a cat, Blake. Oh my god, I love Are this. You drooling on me? Oh, the little's taking a nap. Holy moly. Oh man, the hunter has become the hunted. Oh, hey. What's my it's village? It's your cat friend. <laughs> Jesus. A new adversary approaches. <laughs> Take him. We em. must liberate our king. <laughs> oh man, this is giving me I big like Beaver you. Creek vibes from RVB. <laughs> but then we talked and she seemed less sad. Then she pulled the cheese out of the ground. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we can make them work for us. Gosh, I love this so much. You have our sincerest apologies. This guy looks like he's Please this, this rat look like they've been through it. Skeptical of cats and snakes. Wow. And cats. <laughs> but mostly cats. If we could ask, have you seen anyone else who looks that might, like us? That looks like kinda like the leader. Long blonde hair looks kinda scary, but isn't. <laughs> but could be if she wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Yang. Yeah, look at... They have, like, a cut on there. Like, yeah, they look like they've just been through a lot of experiences. Way. Fighting Before and surviving. This, I was trying to go to that cliff over there. Oh, man. I figured going to higher ground and getting my bearings would be good. Shit. So oh, yeah, you gotta go on the beach. You gotta find your if crescent you rose. Cliff, I could help with that. Oh, uh. I don't really have <laughs> anything to do yet. Yet? Oh? I can be your trusty guide. All righty. Looks like Little's in it for the long haul. Hmm. All right, we need to see or, Ruby cosplays with little like ourselves. Littles on their at least they got us on their shoulder. Path. We need to hurry. Yang's been down here the longest, and we still haven't found her. That's true. Weiss, bro. I was wondering mm -mm. if you fell. And Penny. Are there others down here too. Penny. What happened? John. That's such a burden for Weiss to carry. I don't know if anyone else fell. No. Well, she, she fell before Jean, technically. If so no, they don't know that Jean's here then. Then we can go over everything. If he fell first, if he fell last. <gasps> what the fuck was that? If he fell last and he like succumbed to like an identity change, they wouldn't. What the fuck is that? Oh! Stalking? Searching. Searching? Scowling? What the hell? Tempting. Tempting. Listening. Oh, he's just saying words. You don't have Crescent Rose. Oh. Is this their first adversary? Dane? What the hell? Yo, be careful! What the hell is that thing? I said I wasn't done with you yet! <laughs> oh, Yang made it mad! Her arm! Where's her- Where the hell's her arm? Oh my god. <laughs> That's such a sick effect! Who voice lined those? Who did the voices for that? That shit was hype. Oh my god, that was hey, so scary. You weren't supposed to be here. Jeez, they all fell. If you thought we wouldn't come for you, then you uh, must have forgotten who raised they didn't. me. <laughs> that was an unintended <sighs> consequence. What happened to your arm? I don't think you'd believe me if I told you. What oh, what? the raccoon you took it. I remember from the trailer. Uh, Ruby? I think. I think what that's what that? happened. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go. Hey, they're just friends, guys. Happier to see us. I am. Mm -hmm. It's just, it must have gone pretty bad. Huh? Mm -hmm. Now Weiss has to crack the freaking case open. Fuck. Weiss. Oh no. I, everything happened so fast. No one came back from Vacuo to help. 
And Penny, she oh. tried to help, but she oh. sacrificed herself. <laughs> I had no clue that that's what her reaction was to. So, we have no idea what happened to Relic. Or what happened to everyone in Fuck off, or dude. Is... Maybe everyone else made it. I don't know, but I have a bad feeling. Oh, Neo's here too. man. Hey, are you alright? She attacked me when we were falling. No. <sighs> okay. Oh my god, it's raining Rudy's again. weapon is still missing. Yang's arm was stolen. I think we focus on getting everything back. Shit. Then we can figure out exactly how to get out of here. Wherever here Whoa. is. Whoa, what's that all about? But a ray what of light? if we can't leave? Or what if, what if we're dead? Oh, God. Until you all found me, I thought for sure I was. No. Jeez. I don't think we're dead. Oh, the music? I know how this sounds, but. Fairy tale. Oh my god. I think we're in a fairy tale. <laughs> Yo, the gumdrop mountain. <laughs> wow, wait a minute. No fucking way, that was the episode. That was so short. Ah! Ah! What the hell? That's so cool. Holy shit. Let's go. Volume 9, baby. Oh my god, there's so much to analyze. <laughs> Let's go! I love this! Callbacks! Yo, the outfit changes. Yo, the drip. Oh my god. Whoa, who's that? I wonder if that's Alex. Holy crap. I wonder how long Ruby's gonna go without her weapon. <laughs> oh my gosh! The Cheshire Cat, the Queen. This is, oh, she's with them. I think that's the girl who fell through the world, the toy soldiers. Oh, the caterpillar. Jean, time. Yo, the music is hype, Casey. Pop off, queen. Is Ruby gonna get a new identity? Yo, Cinder's got, I mean, Neo's got like her own posse. That's definitely Jean. Holy shit. What a hot dude the all the references Alright Neil's I feel like Neil's actually gonna pop off. Dude I wonder if that's the girl who fell through the world. What an awesome intro, dude! Holy moly! That episode went by too quickly, dude. I feel like it's because the first four minutes were, were, were minutes that we had already experienced, but that went by so fast. And now we gotta... Bro, we're back. We gotta wait an entire ass week to find out what happens. Beautiful concept art. Shout out to Casey and Martin, by the way. They're taking over, or they're taking over. They're, 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 the mantle has been passed on for them to, to work on the music this time around. Shout out to everybody who worked on this volume. People who are still at RT, people who are no longer at RT. Shout out to Erin. I don't know if she animated. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know if they animated anything this episode. We are finally back. What an amazing experience. I'm so happy to be back, man. So much intrigue. I got to go back and rewatch that intro. There was so much to take away from that intro alone. Neil seems like she's going to have a bit of development. I'm so, so excited, man. We did it. We made it through Ruby volume nine, chapter one. What a banger ass intro, dude. I fucking love this intro. I think for most of the other intros, save for volume two and volume six, which were immediate favorites. This one's like right up there. And I think it's mainly because number one, Casey, and Martin, members of her band, OK Goodnight, are composing the music now. And they like knocked it out. Like, this is an actual banger. I need to know the lyrics because I'm going to have to be singing this week to week. That's kind of the expectations I've built off of the last two volumes. But the imagery, the references, the teases, the, the reveals, the spoilers that are probably there that we can't interpret yet until we watch more of the episodes. I really love the picture they painted for all of the characters that seemingly are going to get development going into this episode. So first, 
first and foremost, I just want to say the reason why this episode felt short was because technically it was short. We saw about seven minutes of the first episode based off of like previews and early sneak peeks of previous RTXs. The first seven minutes we've already seen. It's already been out there in the wild from the last couple RTXs. And when you take out like the minute and a half of the intro, we only really got like seven or eight minutes of the episode. So realistically, this was kind of like a half episode. Next week will feel more of like a fully immersed experience, but I love how we just picked up immediately where we left off with us all falling through the world. Obviously, the events that happened with Cinder and Neo and John and Penny obviously came to light once Ruby met up with everybody. And I love how, like, I love the interactions of how everybody ended up meeting together. We already saw Ruby's encounter, how she came across Little from the early preview content. But despite it only being like eight minutes or so, like, everyone is together. We're not spending a crazy amount of time trying to track one person, then another person, then another person. And then before you know it, we've wasted like three episodes. So everybody's already together i feel like everyone's on the same page everyone all has the same information weiss didn't have to explain the story like four different times to everyone to get the picture and so like i just love how in the short amount of time they kind of wasted no time kind of centralizing the plot having everyone together to tell this one con connected story i'm sure characters are gonna spread out and do their own thing at different intervals based on what we've seen in the trailers and then in that regard i'm expecting things to deviate a little bit but from the startup up until where we saw weiss and blake i really liked the uh uh, like general it, the general connection of snapping one event to another event with ruby at least seeing the events of like weiss like cheerleading blake on to like get her weapon and then the mouse is all coming in i love that the the humor the comedic factors of the show haven't been lost on what will eventually be shifted into more serious uh psychological mental emotional affairs that are going to be happening especially with all the grieving of like penny and just trying to come to terms with that it seems like from the intro alone and i wrote down down, I jotted down just a couple of notes here, but it seems like this intro is going to be mainly focused on Jean, Neo, Ruby, and the girl who fell through the world, which is Alex. For those who don't know, the girl in the intro is most likely Alex, which is a reference to Alice from obviously the Alice in Wonderland series. And I believe she was referenced in the Roman holiday book as like a fairy tale character. I think that's like one of Neo's favorite fairy tales. So Neo might be coming across someone who maybe even inspired her to change up from who she was in the past as trivia vanilla and becoming the new identity of herself as neo now and that's kind of like the whole identity crisis that's going on with the queen of hearts potentially wanting to change ruby ruby go back and watch this intro watch it multiple times and just watch ruby even from this clip right here that i decided to use for like the showcase of this like post discussion thoughts like ruby has, seems like she's going to be going through like a mental break in this realm to where she's going to shift and become a completely different person something that i think also happens to jean who most likely grieved the death of of Penny and probably thinks in himself that he's alone, he's dead, there's no one around him, he doesn't know what's happened, and he's gonna wanna, he's gonna succumb to his inner emotions of insignificance and just not feeling like he's good enough, like he always has. He's always repressed those emotions, and I feel like those emotions will rise to the surface and he will choose to be this knight of order that lives amongst the people and doesn't know who he is anymore. And no one knows that Jean fell either, because Jean technically was the last one to fall. So I think similar to like Jean's journey, Ruby is going to be conflicted about all the things that she's had to bear up until this point and realizing at some point she's not going to be able to handle that burden. She's going to crack under the pressure and she might give in to potentially changing who she is and the, the gang might have to try to reverse that or try to prevent that from happening. But Ruby definitely shows signs of being affected by things more so than others. Everyone's just trucking along and she's slowly falling behind and becoming less and less motivated. And I think that's what we need from her as a character. She's been a very static, optimistic no matter what anime protagonist vibes character and you need to rough up this character a little bit to kind of allow them to be under that pressure and shine brighter at the end of it all but um the reunion was great seeing everybody together having the banter that one creature that was fighting yang initially that like talks in like one word phrases uh or like one word phrases talks in like one word directives rather like looking stalking attacking fighting retreating like that thing looks super cool technically that was the first fight slash skirmish of the episode which i'm assuming Assuming we're gonna learn more about it obviously no grim here but just creatures of the wild that we have to be aware of but i'm just really generally ex genuinely excited i'm actually considering doing like in-depth like short bite-sized analysis videos before we get into the long form live stream discussions that will be happening this upcoming thursday at the time of me recording and obviously by the time this video goes out that will have already happened so hopefully you guys will have checked it out and enjoyed all of my thoughts on episode one and the intro but shout out massive shout out to Kruby 
Baby. Massive shout out to Casey and her band for the music, the OSTs, the music for the intro, and just the vibe of Volume 9, just seeing the, the world, seeing how colorful it is, how vibrant it is. I'm sure it's going to pop off and get crazier and crazier with VFX and all of these really cool, fantastical things and locations and whatnot. But I think I'm just going to leave it there. Like, there's so much to digest. I definitely have to go back, rewatch the episode. I got to start gathering clips and uh, like screenshots for the live stream. And I am considering doing like a little mini analysis breakdown of the episode and probably the intro as well, just because it was that good. But with all of that said, thank you guys so much. Ruby is officially back. I genuinely appreciate the support that has already been coming in from people who are looking forward to my reactions on Patreon and people who are excited for the live stream discussions to return and everything else in between. But let me know what you guys thought of this episode in the comment section down below. Your thoughts, your theories, speculations, hype, everything else in between. Ruby is back for the next nine weeks at this point, and I'm very, very excited. But thank you guys all so much for watching. Really appreciate the support, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Take care.